Hey guys, I'm making my favorite dish, guacamole. It is so easy to make. Even your kids and husbands can make it. And it is delicious. Let's get started. So we're gonna take some ripe avocados. I wish I could say all of them are ripe, but mine are not. So let's just do the best that we can. We're gonna cut up, depending on how much guacamole you need, three to four avocados is a must. I could probably eat five on my own. And I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze them from the, sh the peel right into my bowl. See the little stem here? If it comes right off easily, that means they're good to go and it's ripe. If it doesn't, that means your avocado still needs some time in uh, time to ripen. And if you really want your avocados to ripe really fast, just put them with some bananas. They'll ripen overnight. Before I start mashing it, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the juice of one lime in. I have the half a lime here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that because that's the citrus from the lime is gonna make it so much easier to mash, especially the unripened ones. And the salt as well goes in now. And let's give this a mash. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add some minced garlic. Once again, up to you, personal preference. I'm gonna do about two two little cloves here. Finely chop these up. You don't want someone getting a big chunk of garlic in their mouth. So take your time, run your knife over them a couple times till they're finely chopped. And it goes. Your jalapeno. All right, depending on how much heat you want, you could even release the seeds from your jalapeno just by rolling it and then just tapping that one side here, cutting off the end here and tapping the seeds out. I love heat and everyone in my family loves it as well, so I'm gonna leave it in. Or you could just remove the pit. It's up to you. Okay, let's finally chop this jalapeno and then some tomatoes and some onions, cilantro, some seasoning. I know, I said it was super easy to make and there's not a whole lot of work. But it seems like a lot of ingredients when I'm saying it out loud. But it's super fast, super easy. Okay. Tomatoes. I use Roma tomatoes. I just always use Roma tomatoes. They're just easier to find. They're available all season round. I remove the seeds though, because I don't want my guac to be that watery. So I just remove the seeds of the tomato and just use the outer shell. I know I should make my cooking station a little bit prettier, but this is exactly how I cook in real life. So you're just gonna get this messy version. And onion. You could use a shallot if you want, like I was saying. But you know me, the red onion has my heart. Half an onion will do, or even a quarter of onion. You don't want the onion to overpower the taste of the, of the avocado or the tomato. Um, it is pretty strong, so I'm just gonna use about a quarter of red onion and finely chop this as well. I feel like I'm saying this a lot. I love cilantro. I love garlic, I love everything, I love food. Um, cilantro, I just keep in a mason jar. Um, I've snapped this many times on my page. If you have fresh herbs from the garden or even from the grocery store, just stick them in a mason jar with a little bit of water, clean them, dry them, stick them in a mason jar with a little bit of water and they last three times longer in your fridge. So, and they look really pretty too when you open your fridge door. So I just basically keep them like this and then I just take off as much as I need, grab a whole bunch here and it's already clean, ready to go. Oh my God, I love the taste. I love the smell of cilantro. Some people, I know they're weird. I know they're weirdos, I'm just, I'm joking. Some people don't like cilantro. They're just not fans. And now if you don't like cilantro, you don't have to add it in. You could add a little bit of parsley if you want to. It's personal preference. I've never met anyone that doesn't like cilantro. Cole, do you not like cilantro? I love cilantro. Okay, good. Okay. But I know what... people who don't. I... Really? Yeah, some family, yeah. It's just a personal thing. They like, they like the guac and they like it in there, but they don't like it to be heavy. Really? Mm -hmm. That's you... like saying they don't like wine. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and add some pepper and like again to taste. Just crack some pepper in there, a little bit of salt because I felt like I didn't 
add enough and then just mix it all together and just like that you got guacamole I feel like I added a lot of other ingredients and not a lot of avocado maybe it needs about one more avocado but me personally I'm gonna be happy with this I love grabbing a tortilla chip and grabbing like a good heaping sp spoonful of guacamole that has a bit of everything in it oh, look at that so at this stage guys I am done if you could only smell this I'm telling you it's gonna taste just as great Nicole suggested I add a little bit of sour cream because have you ever been to a restaurant and you look at their guacamole and you're like how is it so vibrant and green and smooth and creamy it's because they add sour cream in. so just a tablespoon or two of sour cream will get the trick done I've never tried this but I blame cool if this sucks so just like this is good to go wait before I do that I forgot I always add a little bit of my taco mix not a whole lot because I love the cumin in here and I like the chili powder it gives it that gives it that little bit of heat that you need like without cumin I just feel like guacamole is not guacamole there you go oh yeah okay let's add I'm gonna add a little bit two tablespoons of sour cream mix it all up oh yeah you're right look at the color look at that it just makes it a little bit more creamier oh you were right Cole I didn't believe you oh um, that's some guac okay my favorite chips k pasta chips they're non-gmo organic Canadian made and they taste delicious and they're not sponsored yet <laughs> one day hopefully yeah they are locally made and they are delicious okay let's try it I'm gonna come around here so I have my best friend here watching me film don't be shy get over here it's just it's literally just we're staring into a TV screen with like 10 people watching it's probably just gonna be my mom and grandma cheering me on saying Hercules See, Hercules let's give you the Latino taste is it Latino approved oh my god yes. it's so good oh my god you guys gotta try this so easy oh so fast so fresh mm-hmm we are winning in life right now. 